or wine, why am I just drinking, you know, race to the bottom coffee? Micro, independent, indie, craft, all of those things across the beverage industry are all having moments because a lot of individuals understand that they don't just have to rely on big companies to supply them um, you know, commodity needs. So coffee is having that moment as well, and it's called specialty coffee. And so the moment for coffee now is allowing people to appreciate the maturity of, the integrity of, and the education of what they're actually drinking. And so most of that moment is on corners and specialty coffee shops. And for us, we want to help bring that moment to people that just have grocery lists that are checking those boxes that may not have been to a specialty coffee shop or haven't quite had their aha moment. That's crazy. You can smell, you can smell some grape up in here. Yeah. It's like, and it's like bunch of grape. Yeah. One of the main reasons behind the focus on wholesale is to help uh, scale our impact model. We get 5% of our profits back to disadvantaged domestic youth uh, across the U.S., across the U.S. being where our clients are based out of. And if we were to build a brick and mortar, we can have profound impact within our community. But if we are supplying people, we become a conduit no matter where we're servicing people to help impact communities as well. One of the key accountabilities that I would want the organization to have is to continue to broaden our definition of consumers beyond just coffee and tea and more of conscious consumers and help educate them on what conscious consumer can be beyond just what we offer. Mm -hmm.